it's Rebecca again. Um, this video is going to be about my Medusa and also I've had a request to make a video about my dermal. So I'll do my Medusa week one update first and then I'll move on to talking about my dermals. Um, it's been a week since I've had this pierced but it's still quite swollen because on, I don't remember when it was, I think it's Friday, yeah it's Friday, I had to have the bar change to a longer one because the one he'd put in was really short and because he didn't think I'd swell that much but I swelled quite a bit. So I started embedding, so I had that one changed for a long one, so now it sticks out like it should. So swelling's is still there a bit, but it's pretty much gone. Um, I haven't had any real problems with it besides that, besides um, eating still a bit painful, because the actual piercing's fine, but my smiley behind it is um, really irritated by the bar. So once I've got it, once it's healed and I've changed it to a short one, that'll be fine, but just for now eating and smiling and laughing especially it's really painful and then I go that bit pushes up and rubs on it so that's a bit painful at the minute um I've had a few questions that people haven't answered um one of them was does it get caught when I eat on my fork don't know how I think that'd be possible because you are you don't go up there with your fork so no, it doesn't get caught on my fork. Um, another thing, if you're so scared to get it, why did you get it done? I'm pretty scared about getting most piercings, but I don't let that put me off. What's the point? Once it's done, it's done. So, don't know. That's all I've got to say about that. Just because you're scared doesn't mean you shouldn't do it, because then you wouldn't do most things. So, um, um, it costs. £25, which is $40, if anyone's interested, because I know there's quite a few American people that watch me. So £25 is $40. Um, yeah, I've been cleaning it about three times a day on the outside and after I eat and drink on the inside. But I've been drinking mostly water, which I'm not used to, so quite good being healthy. Bone, you can mostly water so the inside doesn't get irritated by caffeine or alcohol or anything like that and it's healing quite well I think it looks quite good at the minute the inside started when it um settles in a spot in the back of your lip it makes like a ring where it's settled and it's started doing that so it's all looking good right on to wait let me check I haven't got any more questions do, 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 do. Um. Oh. Um. No. No, that wasn't a question. That was a text. Um. Right now about my dermals. I have four microdermals at the minute. I'm planning on getting a few more, but at the minute I have four. Um. The first ones I got were on my stomach. I got them when I was 14. So. And it's about two and a half, two and a half years ago. I'll show you. Stem chooser. Yeah, I got them. Um, when I was 14, they were £70, so $110. Um, I got them done at a studio in Norwich, near where I live. And it's really, really good. The woman was like really relaxing and kept me calm and stuff because it's my first ones. I was a bit scared. But once I had them, I was like, whoa, this is cool. I'm going to get some more. So then the following October, when I was nearly 15, because it's before my birthday, I got one in my arm. But um, this, I've had quite a few problems, not with the actual piercing, but with the bar that she's put in. Because the thread on the inside is gone. So whenever I put a new top on, it just comes out it won't stay in so I've got this one without a top on it. it looks quite funky and a lot of people worry that if you don't have a top that it will like suck into your arm or suck into your skin but it doesn't do that unless you bang it so if you bang it you've got to put a top on it but it's my arm so you don't really hit your arm much and then so that's one two three so that's three of them and then the most recent one I got is in my chest here which seems to always come undone as well and um, I got that done about, I don't know when I got that done, about six months ago I think. Um, this is one I've had the most problems with, it wasn't pierced low, like deep enough, 
so it sticks out quite a bit but it doesn't uh, it doesn't flare up or anything it's just it looks a bit funny but who cares i'm thinking about um either getting it reset with like press it in and tape it down or having it um, removed and done again but because she did it in the wrong box i asked for it here and she did it here um it probably wouldn't go in very well again so i'm probably gonna leave it and then if i get any problems i have it removed and done again but for now it's fine it just looks a bit funky um i have got plans for some more i was thinking of having to um higher up on my stomach to match the two on the bottom and then possibly my collarbones but i'm not too sure about them because of the reaction it had to this bit um no facial dermals i don't i'm not really a fan of those just because of the problems i've had on normal places i wouldn't want to uh, risk having a problem on my face but um yeah that's, that's all i can think of to talk about really um they were all done with a uh, micro down will punch where they like punch a hole with this thing in your skin and then the bars this shape that's the main thing everyone asks me is how it stays in so it's a bar like this shape so across and then up and they push the long side under your skin and then the short side and then they screw the top on and then it's just stuck there forever until you have it removed um i think down was really good they have a really really low rejection rate compared to surface bar surface bars Almost every single surface valve will reject, but microdam is it's only like a really small chance that they're going to reject. So I prefer them a lot. But yeah, if you're thinking of getting them and you have any questions, then um, just leave them below the video. Inbox me on my Facebook page or on my personal page. Tweet me, Instagram, anything like that. Get hold of me any way you can, and I'll answer it in the next video. Right. Thank you all for watching. Bye.